Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another ramble session. Yes, I hope y'all are doing well. Yes, I do. Yes, I hope you're doing well. Welcome if you're new here. Um, yes, I hope y'all had a nice weekend. We had a very relaxed weekend, I think. Yeah, I mean, it was relaxing for me. My poor husband is in a state uh, because he is just not feeling well at all. Um, and I have literally been in my room the entire weekend. So good news, guys. Good news. Okay. I have almost finished my November book. Okay. And um, more good news. Okay. Here's a page that I'm working on right now. I'm going to get to this in a second, but more than that, I am all caught up in my December. Okay. In my December. So excited. Okay. So excited. Now somewhere in here, I thought, oh, this was yesterday. I have a migraine. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then this, <laughs> this is for today's page. I don't know if you can see it cause this is shiny, but this is my Halls wrapper. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have like, I don't know if it's another cold if you recall, I had a cold back in October, the end of October, when my daughter and I went to Disney World. Um, and now I have a cold again. One of the other teachers is sick with a cold. Ay, ay, ay. So yeah, I put my Halls wrapper in here and then I searched in my Christmas stickers for a Deck the Halls. Get it? Yeah, I like puns. So that's my little headache, girl. Yeah, so today I think it's just gonna be a relaxing day after I get off of here. Um, but somewhere in here, let me see where I put it. I did, um, is it there? No. Um, let's see. Oh, my husband got his MJ card this week. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. Hoping that works somehow. I don't know. Okay. Not that. Where did I put it? It was on a page, oh, maybe it was this page, yes, okay. So on this page here, right, this is what I wanted to show you. Well, I had a rant, I mean, come on, you know, what's a week without a rant, right? Now, I love those letters, okay? So, let me just show you a really quick way. Um, you know, if you don't have like alpha stickers and, you know, and stuff like that, right? which I don't really have a lot of, and I have to tell you, I'm not going to buy any either. So, um, what I decided to do is like a while back, I know I saw it on Allison, AJ's Inspired Life, um, on her channel first. And then I went back, she got the idea from Melanie Sullivan. Um, yeah, and it is, and I know I have, I might have that idea here in this book as well. I'm not really sure. Um, I think I do somewhere. Okay, I have one more page in November to do. Let's see. Um, okay, uh, oh, well, maybe it wasn't in here. I don't know. I thought it was. Yeah, right here, okay? Like, Melanie's idea for cutting out letters, right, from paper. Again, like, if you don't have, um, you know, like, alpha stickers and stuff like that, you know, don't go, there's no need to go out and buy any. You know what I'm saying? You can just cut your own out. And uh, I will link the Melanie Sullivan, um, what is it, video, right, to her doing this. It's a super cute idea. She shows you, like, how to... Um, you know, cut the letters, obviously, but also cut them in a way that is for sure to fit your page. Okay. Yeah. So then I was thinking yesterday when I was working on my December pages, I needed some letters back here, wherever it was, right? The rant one. Okay. And so originally, like I had tried to do Melanie's cutout letters, right? And then I thought, huh, that is just... It's not working. I didn't have the right paper, or whatever, because it was because this background paper is kind of busy with color. And then I thought, wait a minute, I can just write my own letters, right? And then cut those out. Let's see if I can get this in here. Um, 
Yeah, so that is what I did, right? And I j and I did it with this with this right here as well. Like I am going to I'm just going to glue it on while I'm talking with y'all real fast. Um it says binge, right? And I did it out of scrapbook paper, but yeah, I just wrote my letters out uh using a uh what's it called a, this a crayola marker right like mm, i cannot stress enough to do a journal any kind of journal right uh or uh, like more i guess more specifically a decorative journal you know you don't need fancy equipment you don't need fancy pens you don't need anything fancy okay <laughs> You don't need anything fancy to just be creative, okay? Like on this page here, and this is back in November, I'm just finishing up a few pages. And um, I use, this is a magazine clipping, magazine clipping. This is from my Earl Grey tea that I have. This little tag is from Happy Mail. This beautiful background paper is from my dear friend Barbara. This is from um, a magazine calm that I was sent, right? This is clip art that I just, um, you know, what's it called? printed on my printer right and then these letters okay like I literally just took an old you know a scrap of paper okay oh and that right there is gonna go down here from a magazine as well these are stamped images to you know say that I filmed this day um, but anyway you don't need anything specific you know what I mean you just don't and so let's see, where are my Crayola markers? Okay, they're in my to-go bag. All right, so these have, you know, like you can write um, a thin line, right? Or you can write a thick line. So let's say I just wanted to write on here, right? Holly, let's just say. Oh, hi, Holly. If you're watching, that's Journal with Dolly. Don't worry, I'll put all the links below. So you leave a little bit of space between each of the letters because you're gonna cut them out, right? And I like to have, you know, like a little white border, right? Now you could just cut that whole thing out and stick it in, but I think it looks super cute when you cut out the individual letters. Oh gosh, I stuck my hand right in the glue. Um, yeah, so it's like, you know, I mean, I'm sure I didn't make this up, but I really do enjoy the way that um, Melanie does her cutout letters, right? And this is just another a, a twist on it, right? Binge, binged. Is that right? Yeah, binged. I binged Pole Dark. My husband was no longer into it. I'm like, oh, are we ever going to finish watching that Pole Dark? I really enjoyed it. And he said, eh, go ahead. You can go ahead and finish watching it. <laughs> oh, golly, yeah. He just wasn't interested anymore. So I finally binged it and finished watching the entire series, which I happen to really enjoy. What else have I been enjoying? You know what? My daughter and I, ooh, we watched, um, oh, I need to write that in too. I need to ask her more specifically when we watched it. Maybe it's in my notes? I don't know. Um, well, my daughter and I, one of our favorite things to do together is to watch Pretty Little Liars, and we are still doing that. But we did take a little break from that, and we watched, um, as a family, we watched The Queen's Gambit. Oh, is that ever good? I can't remember if it's on Netflix, Prime, or what, but it was a really, really good, um, mi like, mini series. There's only, like, I don't know how many episodes, but... It was really good, and I happen to really enjoy chess. Um, yeah, so there. So isn't that cute? Like, just cut out letters, binged. Um, you know, that you can make yourself, you know? You can just make them and cut them out yourself, and it adds such cute little stuff, you know? Cute little embellishment, if you will, to your page. I'm always looking for ways to you know, embellish my page or, you know, put a little something on it, you know, to, I don't know, just to be creative. And 
what I find is that I really want to find ways that are inexpensive, you know? Everything does not have to be expensive. There's just no reason for it, you know? Guess what, guys? Look at that. You are here for the moment, okay? My last November sticker going on, all right? We're gonna stick that right up there because I'm gonna put my camera over here that I um, filmed this day. Last sticker, done, 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 done. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how happy this makes me. No idea at all. Okay, so this wasn't supposed to be a journal with me, but whatevs. Um, so there, that was Saturday. Okay, so what's been going on? I have been finishing up my books, okay? So on here, um, I got a lovely happy mail from Kylie. And so this is, again, back in November. So I need to fill in the journaling. I need to fill in the journaling here. This was our Thanksgiving day, my journaling back there. And then I do believe everything else is filled in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, does this ever make me happy, okay? So I just need to do that for that. This I need to make a tag for. Um, I do believe, I received Kylie's happy mail on this day, but I opened it on this day, right? And then, oh, by the way, thank you guys so much for all of your birthday wishes. It just really, really meant the world to me. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. And I had a very nice day. And yeah, it was super special. Super special. Look at this card that my husband got me. <laughs> He's so hilarious. It's so cute, isn't it? It's like one of those letter board things. So cute. And then he writes a lovely... A lovely um, note to me so yeah very nice oh I wanted to mention this too I got this little card from my friend um, Heidi over in the UK and she if you remember maybe it was last ramble session I think um, she just recently published her first coloring book adult coloring book and it's called tortured tales and it's a twist on fairy tales and it's super de duper cute okay so i'm gonna leave the amazon link below i wish you heidi if you're watching girl i wish you all the best okay i want those things sold out it just looks so cute so if you're into adult coloring and all that and they're all hand drawn i i do believe there are 20 hand drawn um images if you want a preview go over to her youtube channel make sure you subscribe um, and you can see her, you know, the video of her flip through of it, right? So I did want to mention that. So yeah, my, my November is done, ready to do the last flip through almost. I still have, you know, like I said, a couple of, um, journaling spots to do, but then I'm done. Okay. And to boot, I'm all caught up in my December book. Yeah. That's what I did yesterday. Like I literally spent all day in here. Okay, working on this. These were, I don't know if you saw these, maybe on Instagram you did. I had made a bunch of these little cards um, and I made them into like little ornament, I guess, cards and I hand painted some um, thank yous to all of the little, the little gemlets at school because they were just so sweet, giving me birthday love all day um, last week. It was very, very nice. And then also last week, let's see, was it on this day here? Yes, it was. Um, let me just put this in right here, right now. I don't know how long this is gonna go on. I've missed you guys, you know what? Because um, the only filming that I've really been doing, th these are my Mooney and Boney girlfriends. We had our lunch date this week, and so that was super duper fun. Um, with my crafty bestie and my other, my other special besties. Yeah, I love these ladies so much. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Hmm, I can't remember. Um, yeah, we went and had our lunch together, which was super de duper nice. So I printed out the picture. They don't care. I've, I've asked them if they mind if I show them on my channel and they said they don't mind. 
my printer is going nuts and um it's not a very good picture but so funny like my this is my crafty bestie right there <laughs> she's like she does these selfies they're so funny and that's the rest of us back there my other two great friends and me over here and of course the chicken in the middle because my crafty bestie raises chickens okay it's a thing and we get so many laughs out of it okay so that's gonna go get tucked in there all right so I am so, I am just, let me just tell you, okay? I am thrilled to the gills, all right? Oh, this page too. I need to cut this out, this sweater, all right? And I'm going to glue it in here. I mean, it's sort of big, but I don't really care. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll glue it back here because it was definitely sweater weather on this day. It was in the low 40s when I got up in the morning. Oh my word, okay? It was cold. So I'm just gonna roughly cut this out so it doesn't get all wonky in my book. Oh my goodness, yeah. So, oh, maybe that's what I was talking about. Yes, again, thank you so much for all of your birthday wishes. I really had a great day. My gems were over that night. And it was just, yeah, super, super de duper sweet. Why don't I have a day on here? Oh, I do. Okay, that was Thursday. So there's that. Um, Saturday, this, I got this beautiful card from a subscriber. Thank you so much, Rosie. I really appreciate it. You make gorgeous cards. Gorgeous cards. So this is going in here, right? Um, and then this was for yesterday. Make time for things that make you happy, right? So, and my gems were here yesterday. So we had my kids made us breakfast. It was very nice and all that. I don't know if I'll decorate this or not, but I am super duper pleased that I am all caught up in December, okay? All caught up. So now hopefully I'll just be able to, you know, like, oh yeah, I wanted to put these on there too. I'll just be able to like, you know, come in here and when I get off work and just write down my journaling. Now, if if you remember or if you don't remember, I don't know. Um, I'll put the link below. I did do like a prepping my December journal, which I don't do like the December daily. I don't um, do anything special for my December books, honestly. I go through my uh, Christmas catalogs, I cut out pictures, and I make a bunch of pockets, all right? Then I have a crap ton of these Christmas um, notepads, right? I mean, I'm talking a stack like this tall. So that is what I do, right? I write my notes on it, and in it goes into the pocket, and we're done. We call it macaroni, and so yeah, I just, I had not even started on my December until yesterday, so like literally I was in here all day long, okay, all day long, um, working on him, and I'm just pleased as punch, okay, that now, tomorrow when I get home from work, and like tonight, I can sit in here, get a notepad out, write down my thoughts for the day, stick it in there, call her done, okay? I, like I said, I have a, I have a video on how I prep these, right? So each page, they're not prepped with the date or whatever. Oh, and did I show you what I'm doing for the date? For the dates? Okay. I had these little things. I think I showed you before, right? I just, um, I was inspired by my, by my dear friend Carly on Instagram and she's a Facebook friend and have known her for years and she is a terrific doodler. I love I love her, she's so creative, okay? I just, I love her, I love her heart, I love her spirit, and she's very creative. So, I snatched this idea from her. I did ask her permission, but, um, and just watercolored some, just swatches, right? And then made them into these cute little gift boxes, okay? And what I do is, let me just show you real fast, just to give you some ideas, like you don't need expensive stuff, okay? You just don't. Um, this is what I do it on, right? Just a cheap um, sketchbook, okay? It's not watercolor paper or anything like that. And then I take them, oh, this was another th one of her ideas as well that I was playing around with. But I take these and then I photocopy them, okay? Simple photocopy because I don't want things to be like super duper, um, what's it called, like um, bulky, right? Anyway, 
Um, so that's what I, that's what I'm using, right? And then I just, um, I cut them out individually. I write, you know, with a marker, the date, this was the 11th and it was a Friday. And I showed you last time how to do this hand lettering, super duper easy. Okay. I just do it like literally I take a scrap of this and I write the day on like Saturday, cut it out, stick it on there. Again, got a lot of macaroni going on in this book. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's where I am with that. Uh, what else was I gonna share with you? I haven't really been working on much of anything else. I sent my little golden book out. Of course, spend extra for priority mail. Do you think it's gotten to the recipient yet? Nope, nope, running late. Seriously, Amazon can deliver stuff tomorrow to me, but the US Postal Service can't deliver something in, in two days. I don't get it whatever um i did want to show you these though look at these beautiful books okay my daughter got these uh she could have gotten them at their moleskine um journals right and it's a special pack <gasps> oh wait a minute <gasps> includes six labels and alphabet stickers for covers i never knew that I never knew that. Okay, let's dig in and see then. She got this for me a while back, okay? <laughs> I didn't even remember her getting them for me. She saw them in the store, probably like TJ Maxx perhaps or something like that, Marshalls maybe. And she was like, oh mom, you know, look at these. And I said, well, why don't you just save them, you know, for like, you know, my birthday or whatevs, you know what I'm saying? I gotta put that in my, oh gosh, I don't know. Anyway, but look at them, look how cute they are. And I love the colors of them. You know, even though I do love me some bright colors, I like muted colors as well. So these are moleskines. Let's see if it says how many pages. Let's just take a gander. Um, 120 ruled pages, 70, um, I guess 70, GSM, I'm guessing, ivory colored, acid free paper, stitch binding, flap for collecting loose notes. They are seven and a half by nine and three quarter, which happens to be pretty darn close to a composition book size. Um, okay, and the last 16 sheets are detachable. All right, cool. All right, so let's see. Oh, okay. All right, here's the little pamphlet that tells you about Moleskine. I'm guessing Moles, Mole, Moleskine, that's how I say it. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, anyway, um, I don't know what these are for. Like, quite honestly, I just do not. Um, what does it say? Includes labels and alphabet stickers for the covers. I don't know, like maybe if you wanna put one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, if you want to put, if you want to use these as journals, you can write, you can put on the labels, you know, like when you started it, when you finished it. I'm not really sure. Um, they are sewn in, okay, which is really nice. The paper's really nice, right? See, they're, they're sewn in this way. Oh, what to do with them? What to do with them? I love them. They are very beautiful. I will probably do like a pen test, watercolor test on them. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to turn these into perhaps some um, glue books. I think that's what my original idea was. But there are 120 pages in here, okay? That's a lot, all right? That means that there are 60 pages folded in half. Um, is that right? No, that's not right. If there's 120 pages, 120 divided by four, that means there are only 30 pages in here. One, I'm not gonna count them, whatever. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna use these for, but I do love them. Oh, there's a little pocket in the back. They would make super nice journals, just saying. But I might turn, in, turn them into glue books, you know? I. They're different than composition books because there are so many holes in the spine. I don't think that I could rip pages out, although what I could do, because I do love the paper, is I could tear out, leave them bound in, right? 
what I could do is, I'll show you real quick because you know this video isn't long enough. Um, oh you gosh, I don't know how you guys endure me, but thank you, thank you. Okay, this is what I might do, all right? I would take this out, use this elsewhere because it's beautiful paper. Oh, I'll use that for a test page. Then what I would do is just simply take this and glue it on, right? Glue it on to this page right here. Yes, there will be a bump, whatever. It doesn't matter to me, but it thins out this part of the book. So I don't know how that would work. Like you guys, that glue book all the time, would that work? You know what I mean? And then I could just use this as a spread but I would have less pages, not sure. Okay, well, speaking of collage and all that jazz, um, I also ordered, oh, my beautiful son gave me a really sweet, um, whatchamacallit, a really sweet uh, gift card. So I will be using that probably to purchase Heidi's new coloring book. Yes, and one of the other things I purchased, let me just tell you, it, and I don't know if I mentioned it last week, I'm not really sure, but um, I did go ahead and purchase a planner that's also has um, collage activities in it, okay? And it's more of a vintage vibe, which I'm super excited about because while I do enjoy vintage, I don't do a lot of vintage. I do colorful hot mess, which is what I enjoy most. However, I think it would be a lot of fun. And I ordered it through Marguerite Miller, okay? So I will leave her link below. I'll leave the video link um, where she, I think, showcases it. And I'm going to use it for my YouTube videos. But then, on the left-hand side of the page, she has um, a collage page. And what she used to, she used to have a Facebook group a while back that I joined. I think she just stopped it this year. And um, she, might ha she might do something on a website. I don't know. I'll look into it for you guys and I'll put all the links below. Um, and I'm sure she has all the links on her channel and on her videos as well. Um, so anyhow, I was a part of her group. It was called Vintage 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 Collage and, and Glue Book, maybe? Vintage something like that. Anyway, um, she's always been an inspiration to me. Her, her um, collages are just simply beautiful. And... Um, she used to, on the Facebook group, have these weekly things. In fact, I still have, I know you've seen them before. Good grief, 27 minutes, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, you could talk the udders off a bowl. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this right here, I have to show you. This is from her thing, okay? It was Vintage Glue Book and Pages, I think, is what it was called. And so she would have these things, like just a list, you know, something round, a paint chip a postage stamp, a piece of map, anything from the grocery store, and then she'd have a bonus form, a form or a part of a form, okay? So like if you didn't have something up in here in this list, you could just use the bonus one, right? And so this is how I made, um, you know, this little collage, right? And it was a little book and each week she would put these out, okay? And it was so much fun and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, now she has that very thing in a um in a planner like she made a planner out of it and can i tell you it is super affordable okay super affordable i cannot wait to get it and share it with you guys oh my goodness okay so i think that's it i think yeah i really haven't been working on much of anything else um yeah, I'm not prepared for Christmas at all. I do believe I have like the kids gifts and everything all sorted um, somewhat, but uh, can I just tell you like I, my husband came to me and said, what are we going to do for moms and dads? And I'm like, I, I have no idea. I have no idea, honey. So yeah, um, not prepared in that way. Have not written my Christmas letter. I don't even know if I'm going to this year in all honesty. Yep. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah. Haven't done much at all in, in that respect. So that's kind of bumming me out. But anyway, what's not bumming me out is that I'm caught up in my books. Now, the only book that I have to finish is October, <laughs> which I mean, I can do that whenever, right? Oh, another thing too. Look at these. Oh, I wanted to share with you. Look at these beautiful things. 
I just remember because I see her envelope down there. <laughs> um, look at these. These are from Australia. My dear friend Karen, she sends them to me. It's the first day of issue, right? Christmas Island. Is that not gorgeous or what? Oh my gosh. They are so beautiful. And this one here. Maryland's oh this maybe that's where it's from Maryland's New South Wales and this is the other one right the virgin and child oh my gosh so beautiful so absolutely beautiful thank you so much Karen you're so you're just so special so special so I put these in here because that's when I got them and yeah okay so now for reals I'm done my husband's gonna be back from the store any minute so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Oh, what's coming up? What's coming up? Ah, I don't know what happened to my schedule. Oh, I don't know. It's here somewhere. Uh huh. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Okay, real fast, real fast. Schedule. Okay, so coming up is um oh my very first glue book um flip through. Okay, a big bad beauty. My big Arteza watercolor book. Right. So I'm going to do a quick flip through of that this week. I'm also going to do the beginning of September flip through. Um, I'm going to do a journal with me about when I was on Thanksgiving break. And I'm going to do a mid-September flip through. So be sure you check out all of those videos coming up. And always, you know, keep in mind, if you go on my main YouTube page, I have playlists, okay? So if you're just like interested in glue books, then I have a whole playlist for them. If you're just interested in um, flip throughs, I have flip throughs. If you enjoy watching and crafting along to journal with me videos, I have those in a playlist. So yeah, go ahead and check my playlist. See if there's anything there that you'd be interested in watching. Um, I'd appreciate it. Don't forget if you like what you see to click that notification bell and the, um, yeah, the subscribe would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. And thank you all who have clicked it um, most recently. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you very much. And I think that's it. Yes, we have one more week of school and then we're out for two weeks. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, so yeah, have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.